By now, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard. Kahale Waring has gone to the IR. Now, Kahale Waring was supposed to be the next big thing. Uh, he was supposed to be, like, the guy for us, you know, the good tight end. But last year, his rookie year, he ended up going on IR, didn't play a single snap for us in the regular season. This year, he made the roster, and he played, like, nine special team snaps against the Chiefs. And now he's on IR. Now, here's the tricky part. IR, at least for this season. Typically, IR, usually back then, in regular, normal seasons without the COVID, it would mean the player would be out for a good while. I mean, back then, it used to be the whole year, but since they implemented the bring players back rule, like, what, two, three years ago, it meant, you know, minimum eight weeks. But with this year, with the COVID rules, they made it to where you can bring back as many players as you want, and you can leave them on IR for a minimum of three weeks. So, Kahale Waring, we have no idea what's wrong with him man like he just went on IR out of nowhere like is he gonna be out for three weeks is he getting IR stashed is he gonna be back at some other point like maybe he is hurt maybe he's not like we have no idea what this whole Kahale wearing situation is man like we have no details and even if they say oh yeah he's dealing with an injury blah 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 it could completely totally be bs because like when they ir stash players like they always say oh yeah it's an injury but you know they throw them in the ir just because now what do the texans do now well they already made a move they brought in a tight end his name is pharaoh brown but people were, i know people are gonna ask well sticky why don't they bring back Jordan Thomas well for you guys that don't know Jordan Thomas was put on the Cardinals practice squad and now you're probably wondering well Sticky if he's on the Cardinals practice squad can't you just go scoop him up the answer to that is yes typically but again since the season is all crazy because of the COVID they made a new rule for this season where you can protect three players on your practice squad. Jordan Thomas is one of them. The Arizona Cardinals have Jordan Thomas protected, so we can't go over there and pick up Jordan Thomas. So Jordan Thomas is no longer an option for the Texans, which completely sucks because I was really, really, really high on Jordan Thomas and okay if Kahale Waring isn't hurt and they are just IR stashing him then it makes the Texans look really 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 dumb because you let go of Jordan Thomas a young promising tight end for Kahale Waring because that's what it was you know they love Aikens, they weren't going to cut Aikens, and, you know, Fells, they love Fells, they weren't going to cut Fells, so it really came down to Waring versus Jordan Thomas, and they choose Waring, but if the leash was so short on Waring, why in the world would they let go of Jordan Thomas, you know, so, to me, that makes no sense, like I said, it makes the Texans look kind of dumb in a way not even in a way it straight up does make him look dumb now obviously there is a possibility that Kahale wearing really is hurt but I mean if we're being 100% honest here I highly doubt that is true now as for our new tight end Pharaoh Brown um this guy is supposed to be a bigger guy he's 6'6 uh, big boy, big tight end. He's supposed to be a good blocker. So, this brings the question. Is Pharaoh Brown 
here to replace Darren Fells? Like, think about it. Like, maybe... Because, like, why in the world would they bring in a guy that's 6'6", six, six, uh, what, 260 pounds? Like, he has a similar build to Darren Fells. Like, he plays like Darren Fells. I think Texans Thoughts was talking about it on uh, Twitter earlier. Well, yesterday. But, yeah. Like, why would they bring in a guy like Farrell Brown who is built very similar has a similar play style as Darren Fells, you know, like, it, it makes you think, like, maybe, just maybe Kahale Waring really is hurt, like, maybe he is hurt, and they brought in Farrell Brown to, you know, be the third tight end for right now, and then once Kahale Waring actually is good to go and healthy maybe they bring Kahale wearing back and then they cut Darren Fells like is that a possibility or am I reaching here because after watching that Chiefs game that play and you guys know where I'm going here that play where Tyron Matthew destroyed Darren Fells and hit Deshaun Watson to force the INT, that was, you know, disgusting. And I'm not just saying that because it was Tyron Matthew and I strongly dislike Tyron Matthew. I'm saying that because he got beat by a 5'9 DB being 6'7", 270 pounds. That's Darren Phelps. Tyron Matthew is 5'9", 190 pounds. And Darren Fells got embarrassed by Tyron Matthew. Like, at no point ever should a tight end get embarrassed like that unless it's like a bigger DB. But by a 5'9", 180 pound DB, like, you're allowing him to hit your quarterback? Like, no, that was disgusting. So maybe the Texans saw that. And then they went back to last year and, you know, maybe at other points during the Chiefs game, they saw that Darren Fells wasn't doing much. In fact, I believe Jordan Aikens had like 45 snaps at tight end while uh, Fells had like 24. So Jordan Aikens is your number one tight end. It's not Darren Fells. So, is Darren Fell's job in danger? Could Farrell Brown actually be coming here to replace Darren Fells once Kahale Waring does come back if he is hurt? I don't know, man, but I definitely think it's an option the Texans should be exploring. Now, like I said, I do think it was very moronic of them to let go of Jordan Thomas instead of, you know, maybe IR stashing him. Because keep in mind, you can bring back as many players as you want from IR this season, and you only have to wait three weeks. So say they IR stash Jordan Thomas, and then this whole situation happens again. So you IR, you know, what's his name, Kahale wearing again. Maybe you bring Pharaoh Brown for like a couple weeks, And then once, you know, the three weeks are up, you could bring in Jordan Thomas instead. I I feel like the Texans completely botched this situation with the tight ends. Now, all you really have is Aikens because I don't think they should really have any faith in Terran Fells. Because, I mean, you already have Aikens taking snaps away from him. He's already having more snaps. He's clearly your number one tight end. And then you have Darren Fells getting beat one-on-one by Tyron Matthew, and then Farrell Brown is a new guy on your team. Like, is he really going to be in sync with Watson? Is he going to know what to do? Is he going to have enough time to learn the offense? You know, like, he wasn't here during training camp or any of that stuff. So, yeah, I feel like Texans completely botched the tight end situation. They could have definitely handled it better, but... Oh, well, hey, (laughs) maybe they trade for Zach Ertz, man. No, no, don't even ask. No, the Texans do not have the assets to trade for Zach Ertz, and they don't have the cap space to pay a player like Zach Ertz. I was just kidding, so don't take it seriously. 
Don't even ask. No, we are not getting sack Ertz. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys for today. Actually, no, I don't. I have something else coming out later, so stay tuned for that. Well, depending when you're watching this video. If you're watching this video the day it dropped, then I definitely have something for you guys later today. But, uh, yeah, uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.